Tony Kuchan, the chairman of the All Progressives Congress, has announced uh, that the party will not participate in the October 5, 2024 local government elections, uh, which was stated that the election processes uh, did not follow the law and that the party had gone to court to stop the process. Now, the announcement was made during an enlarged APC stakeholders meeting in Port Harcourt. The law says three months of the expiration of the life of a chairman or tenor of the council that the uh, electoral uh, body, so to speak, should organize election. The process should commence, timetable released, and all that. Then 21 days inside that the three months, election should be moved. My dear people, the black clause now as we speak, or uh, what they are doing today, as we speak, that's week of October they're talking about, will not work. Hello? We are saying that the processes should be seen to be transparent. So that we don't just go and walk on walk on the tongues. I was only being a whistleblower for that matter. Because I know that that election will not represent the interest or the opinion of those who would vote. So we cannot participate in that because there was deliberate plan to ask us and make us worthless. Okuja accused the parties of uh, a maker back a faction of working uh, with the state government as the committee, stating that they have filed an appeal against the recent River State High Court judgment. Some parties take with its old faction of members to join the approved ESCO. I didn't sack a maker. I didn't, I didn't conduct an election with him. Members of his state working committee, first, that he presides, said, invited him to answer the questions of anti party. Himself and the legal advisor, they refused. They wrote and wrote again, the people met and suspended them. That was not enough. They went to court. The court solidified and confirmed the suspension. And Emeka attempted to obtain that judgment by approaching the, um, uh, the court of appeal. There, the court of appeal, he abandoned the matter. So now, if they say they have order, they have uh, judgment, and we have judgment, the lawyers told me that the judgment that will prevail is the first in uh, time. What is happening now happened to me. You know, as chairman of this party, we had crisis under my leadership as well. We had the Marcus faction, then even my friend, Tony Kocha, was there. <laughs> <laughs> so we had all those issues. And at some point in time, the National Working Committee of our party looked at the whole scenario in River State and said, look, we can't be having all of this problem. For that reason, they are going to dissolve my executive and appoint the capital committee. You know what happened? Yeah, yeah. happened? And I took it in good faith and I go my house. <laughs> they make that they can go your house. <laughs> it will be difficult not to be happy as members of MPC. Because so far we have the president of this country who has said who have taken so much interest in the affairs of the United States. The appointment of uh, Chief Ayoso Mike to that very exalted position in Abuja tells it all. It shows that he has admiration and love for the people of River State. And anybody who is joining another faction, who are, either you're supposed to be an APC member, or you're an APC member, fighting this very body, then you are fighting the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.